Hi children, let us start the exercise 3.5, chapter 3, playing with numbers. Question number 1, which of the following statements are true? Sub question A, if a number is divisible by 3, it must be divisible by 9. Once again, if a number is divisible by 3, it must be divisible by 9. And this step, this statements are false because six is divisible by three, but is not divisible by nine. And these statements are false. Next sub question B. If a number is divisible by 9, it must be divisible by 3. And these statements are true because 27 is divisible by 9 and 27 also Also divisible by 3. And this statement is true. Sub question C. A number is divisible by 18 if it is divisible by both 3 and 6. And these statements are false because 30 is divisible by 3 and 6 both. But it is not It is not divisible by 18 and these statements are false. Next sub question D. If a number is divisible by 9 and 10 both then it must be divisible by 90. And this statement are true because 9 into 10 is equal to 90. Therefore, if a number is divisible by 9 and 10 both, then it will it will also be divisible by 90 on this statement are true next sub question e if two numbers are co-primes, at least one of them must be prime. On these statements are false because 15 and 32 are co-prime, co-primes and also composite numbers on these statements are false 
Next, sub question F. All numbers which are divisible by 4 must also be divisible by 8. On these statements are false because 12 is divisible by 4. By 4. But. But not divisible by 8. 8. And this statement are false. Next. Sub question G. All numbers which are divisible by 8 must also be divisible by 4. And this statements are true because 8 is divisible by 4 and also divisible by 8. On this state, these statements are true. Next. Sub question H. If a number exactly divides two numbers separately, it must exactly divide their sum. On this, these statements are true because two divides four and eight, then as well as. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 and 12 is divided by 2. And these statements are true. Next, sub question I. If a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers, it must exactly divide the two numbers separately. And these statements are false because 2 divides but does not divide 7 and 5 and these statements are false next question number 2 here are two different factor trees for 16 write the missing numbers then sub question A 60, 6, 2, 10, 5. Then missing numbers. This column and this column. 60. 6 tens are 60. 6 then. 2 threes are 6. And 5 twos are 10. 2 threes are 6. 5 twos are 10. 6 tens are 60. The missing number is 3 and 2. And sub question B. 60, 30, 10. Missing numbers on that 4 columns. So 10 is there. 5, 2 is 10. 10, 3 is 30. 30, 2 is 60. Once again. 5 2 is 10, 10 3 is 30, 32 is 60. And missing number is 5 2 3 2. Next question number 3. Which factors are not included in the prime factorization of a composite number? Andre, composite number na prime factorization marbekadre yao number su include agala. 1 and and the number itself one include agala matte ade number kuda include agala next question number 4 write the greatest four digit number and express it in terms of its 
प्राइम फैक्टर्स राइट द ग्रेटेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर द ग्रेटेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर इज 9999 and express it in terms of its prime factors then 9999 then solving prime factorization method 33 is a 9 again 33 is a 9 33 is a 9 33 is a 9 then take 3 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 next you take 11 11 ones are 11 then divide sorry let's divide by 11 11 ones are 11 1 carry so 1 direct and divide agala add 1 0 take 1 Again, 11 ones are 11. So, 1, 0, 1 means 101 ones are 101 into 11 is equal to 1111. 101 into 1, 101. Then, prime factorization of 9900 is 3 into 3 into 11 into 101 is the answer. Next, question number 5. Write the smallest 5 digit number and express it in the form of its prime factors. First, write the greatest smallest 5 digit number. Smallest 5 digit number is 10,000. And express it in the form of its prime factors then 10,000 2 5s are 10 1 0 3 0 5,000 2s are 10,000 next you take 2 2 2s are 4 1 carry pakko kodre 10 nangathe 2 5s are 10 0 0 2,500 into 2 5,000 Next, take 5. 5 5s five are 25, 0, 0. 500 5s are 2500. Next, take 5. 5 1s are 5, 0, 0. 100 5s are 500. Let's take 5. 5 2s five are 10, 0. 20 5s are 100. Next, take 5. 5 4s are 20. 2 2s are Four, again take two ones are two then ten thousand is equal to two into two into five into five into five into five into two into two is an answer these are all in prime factors and 10,000. Next, question number 6. Find all the prime factors of 1729 and arrange them in ascending order. Now, state, state the relation if any between two consecutive prime factors. First, find the prime factors of 1729. 1729 7 2s are 14 remaining 3 carry 32 7 4s are 28 remaining 4 carry so 7 7s are 49 next take 13 13 1s are 13 Remaining 11 means 117. 13 9s are 117. Next, 19 1s are 19. Then, 1729 is equal to 7 into 13 into 19. Then, 
13 minus 7 is equal to 6 again 19 minus 13 is equal to 6 the difference of the difference of two consecutive prime factors prime factors is 6